cousin uh, dropped off a walking stick, thought it would be, uh, or a stick to make a walking stick, he thought it would be nice. Now, it was a really awesome gesture, um, but to make, carve something directly out of this, like animals or whatever, it takes a lot more material than this. So, what I've decided to do is make him a walking stick. And I'm going to take the top and I'm going to carve um, some claws. So, think of uh, something that's grabbing a hold of something from the bottom. And I'm going to put um, a dice, a D100, in there in resin and uh, carve some of this in here and maybe, I don't know, I'll figure something else out, but I'm going to give this to him as a, a gift. Um, I hope you enjoy the project because it's going to be a pretty quick project. I don't think it's going to take a real long time to do this. So enjoy. Sometimes it's just rough, rough drawing. It's the next day. I uh, did some more work on this a little bit off camera. So I drew some scales on there along with some diamonds. So that's what I'm going to do the time lapse on. Now I'm going to carry this further down the the walking stick. I don't know how far, maybe down to there. I don't know. It just depends on how much work this is going to take and how in depth I want to go. But if you like what's happening, don't forget, subscribe, click like if you like this, and uh, don't forget the post notification, the little belly thing that lets you know what I'm doing. Don't forget to click on that because, you know. You want to know what I'm doing.
that's what I want. So I'm just going to sand it down a little bit after it cools down. And then uh, go from there. Who oh, did bring you in? on my my channel me yep i'm recording right now oh, wow okay i think it takes a longer time to actually um uh, for it to dry than to pour it and stuff yeah i've never used this stuff before so you telling them for me yeah them oh, okay them as we move forward to who I'm gonna try doing 50. Wow. Hey, that would look nice for that picture because of all, because of the way that it reflects on the light and makes uh, it look like a rainbow. Yeah, we'll do 50. That will only get it up to here, Dad. And then, we'll do 50 of this. What is that? This is the hardener. Uh, so that's like the glue part that just makes it hard. Kind of, yeah. And then 50 of this. Then what's the need for the other one? Hello? Can I stir it? Okay, start stirring. With this? Attempt number two. There we go. Sit there till tomorrow. Now the flame didn't want to stay lit well. It was uh, turned partially upside down, so hopefully we got most of the bubbles out. And uh, I'm not worried about this side leaning against here, or that being way out. I'm going to be sanding it down. 
and bring tapering it in so it's just going to be hopefully the size of just the hand itself so so it's the next day let's see how it turned out So stay tuned. How's everybody doing today? Um, I sanded a whole bunch yesterday on the epoxy and um, realized I have some cracks and I have a nice chunk missing right there. The cracks seem to resonate around the, thing, the, the nails. Um, I'm thinking it's the shape of the palm. It's not, it wasn't allowing the bubbles out, which caused, um, a whole bunch of bubbles inside the palm. So what I'm going to do here is to fill this and the cracks. I'm going to, I bought some five minute epoxy and I'm in, let it dry. Then I'm going to buff the crap out of it and, uh, try to get it to shine up some more. It's going to be cloudy um, because of the bubbles, but Yesterday I said I was going to do a time lapse on uh, the uh, sanding and buffing the epoxy. So, the um, thing is, is it started to rain. And, uh, well, first uh, uh, my daughter and I were working on another project and then it started to rain, so we went inside. And then we had a pause in the rain. And, I thought, oh, I'm gonna come outside and uh, do the time lapse. Well, I'd forgotten my phone and I went to go back inside and it started raining again. So I just started working outside in the shed. And uh, so I've sanded it and I used some steel wool, got the scratches out. Um, as you remember, I used uh, five minute epoxy to fill the cracks and that one big chunk. Now, the five minute epoxy is a little bit different than the other stuff, so 
it's set up pretty good, but not perfect. Um, but so I'm gonna call that complete, and um, I'm going to see my cousin today. I spoke to him on the phone, and I told him that I had something for him, and it was something I made on video. And he requested that I did not record him, and uh, so I'm gonna respect his request. Give it to him off video. So we're gonna call this uh, complete. And um, thank you for watching. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but I can't change the bubbles in here. So thank you, and uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more projects as. I'm sure you can hear the spraying right now. My daughter's working on our joint project. And um, we're going to post that in here in the next probably few days. Um, there's a train going by. Uh, if you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more of what we're doing, it, um, subscribe and click the, the little bell. Yeah, that, that bell will tell you what I'm doing. And uh, trust me, you wanna 